Hello everyone. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. We are in the middle of the week, which means it's Wednesday and there is my two minute skincare drill. So for those of you who don't know me or haven't seen me on Facebook Live or Periscope, my name is Claudia Cometa. I am a pharmacist and independent skincare consultant and I come here every Wednesday around this time, about midday, early to midday, to bring you the tips and tricks to achieve the best skin of your life. So today I wanted to talk about the physiological um, differences in men's skin versus women's skin and why it might appear that men in general, and this is obviously a very, there's going to be individual differences, but men in general appear to age a little bit slower than women do as regard, with regard to their skin. So first I wanted to point out the physiological effect of testosterone. So obviously men have testosterone and that ends up resulting in thicker skin um, about 25% thicker skin than women. So of course, thicker skin means less of a thin skin issue and less sagging. So that's one reason. Secondly is our collagen production. So for both genders, collagen production declines about 1% per year after the age of 30. However, once women hit menopause and we have the hormonal fluctuations and changes from menopause, we actually exhibit a much more drastic and significant decline. So that menopause could either be natural menopause or early surgical menopause by having, um, you know, a hysterectomy with, um, a oophorectomy or having your ovaries removed. So that hormonal change at menopause accelerates that collagen decline for us, whereas men don't have that hormonal change. So that's just, that's another reason. A third reason that I wanted to point out is sweat. So men sweat more and their sweat actually contains lactic acid more so than ours, which ends up resulting in an intrinsic um, or an increased hydration status sort of naturally for them. So they are just um, sort of at a, at a better hydration point than we are typically. So those are three reasons why it appears that our skin as women ages a little bit more rapidly or drastically than men's skin does. So what can we do? So we just basically have to pay a little bit more attention to our hydration status. So um, we may need to apply more moisturization than say men do. Secondarily, we have to pay a little bit more attention to our collagen production as ours is going to decline a lot more significantly than men, especially after menopause. So adding in some collagen induction therapy is very beneficial for us, also for men, but just kind of pointing out the differences in men and women, I wanted to point out the women's benefit. So collagen induction therapy is super important and one such way which I have touched on before, and you can check out on my YouTube channel, you can find me at Revitalized Skin on YouTube, is using a micro needling tool. So that's a form of collagen induction therapy that can be very impactful and significant in improving our collagen production. So I I hope that was super helpful. I hope you found some benefit in that. Um, please feel free to comment or share. Let me know what kind of topics you would like to hear in the future. You can find me on my YouTube channel. It is Revitalized Skin all together. If you have any trouble finding it, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Have a wonderful rest of your week.